Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the pudendal nerve. The pudendal nerve is a nerve for the perineum and the external genitalia. It arises from the sacral plexus. This is the sacral plexus, and we are getting the pudendal nerve coming from S2, S3, S4. This is the pudendal nerve. It leaves the pelvis through the lower part of the greater sciatic foramen. This is the greater sciatic foramen area, and this leaves the Catastrophic foramen through the lower part of the catastrophic foramen below the piriformis and it crosses the apex of the sacrospinous ligament. It crosses the apex of the sacrospinous ligament. Sacrospinous ligament is connected to the ischial spine here from the sacrum to the ischial spine. So it crosses the apex of the sacrospinous ligament and it leaves the gluteal region through the lesser sciatic this is the lesser sciatic foramen and it enters the perineum in the ischiorectal or ischioanal fossa in the pudendal canal it is accompanied by internal pudendal vessel throughout so this nerve is accompanied by internal pudendal vessels Okay, so if we go to parental nerve branches in the posterior part of the parental canal, it gives rise to the inferior rectal nerve and then divides into two terminal branches. One is the perineal nerve, another one is the dorsal nerve of the penis or clitoris. So it has three branches inferior rectal nerve. We have two terminal branches, perineal nerve, dorsal nerve of the penis or clitoris. Area of distribution, skin of the perineum. Sensory branches to the external genitalia, perineal muscles, external anal sphincter, external urethral sphincter. Okay, so if you go to the nerve supply of the male and female perineum, we get that this is the nerve, the pudendal nerve, and it has the inferior rectal branch here. Inferior rectal branch, one branch, inferior rectal branch. Then we we'll find out that it has the perineal branch here and this is the dorsal nerve of the penis. So, three branches inferior rectal, then we have the perineal, and dorsal nerve of the penis. These are the terminal branches, these two. One is the dorsal nerve of the penis, and another is the perineal. We have first branch is the inferior rectal. Now, here in the male, if we go to the female again, this is the pudendal nerve, then these are the perineal nerves. We have the nerve here, motor branches to, to the deep pouch. Here is the nerve, the dorsal nerve to the clitoris. Here, dorsal nerve to the clitoris, so inferior nerve the perineal nerve and dorsal nerve to the clitoris or clitoris. Okay, then this is a common practice, the pudendal block. This is very common in the labor world where baby is born. Pudendal block is required to relieve pain during childbirth because pudendal nerve Innervate the it provides sensory innervation to external genitalia, including the vagina. 
So local anesthesia is injected near the ischial spine into the tissue surrounding the pudendal nerve. So this is the ischial spine and under the guidance of finger this is the sacrospinous ligament. Here local anesthesia is injected to numb this nerve, it is the pudendal nerve that innervates the external genitalia, the perineal muscle, skeletal muscle and also the sensory innervation from the lower part of the vagina is provided by the pudendal nerve. So this nerve is numb. Two approach, it may go through the vagina, there is transvaginal approach or like this. So this finger is inside the vagina or it may be given over the on the, on the overlying skin injecting from here by palpating the urundal nerve. And that's all about the anatomy of the pudendal nerve. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. And have a nice day. Bye now.